I know you can't see this, it's too dark. I got my headlamp on, I'm walking towards Waterford now. It took me just under half an hour to pack up everything, make sure I didn't miss anything. I have to re, when I get a chance to, when the light comes out, repack my pack and retie my boots, but yeah, all in all, feeling okay. Heading, we have about, I think 20 kilometers to uh, get to Waterford. Morning everyone, I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to get sunrise. We've been walking for a little while. Um, I was misinformed, I thought it was 20 kilometers left, but then just after that I saw a sign and it said 25 to Waterford. So we're in for a little bit longer walk than I thought, about an hour to it or so. And uh, I'm just basically walking in. And once the sun goes up, I'll switch here aside, take off my headlamp, and we'll try to find a place uh, for coffee. Lovely scenery as we walk crested in the top of the hill. So we're walking on the main outer route here, the National Road 25, and the sign in front says 18 kilometers left. Don't know where to trust them or not, but we'll keep going. Happy Sunday. So, I've been walking for a little over two hours now, and uh, my feet are in bits, and there's not one place to get a coffee, a break, or anything. So, I've just been sort of plodding along. I had a bottle of orange juice that I drank that, that gave me some uh, nutrition. But all in all, it was a tough old night. Um, don't know if I uh, recorded it well, if it's because it was in the pitch black dark, but last night around midnight I got sick. Uh, the sleeping bag I had wasn't adequate for the, um, the weather because it was around 2 degrees last night. I think it was probably one that was good for like 6 to 10 degrees myself. And my air mattress there, whatever the, the protector was, rubbish. It was like, there was rocks in that. It was, it was an uncomfortable sleep to stay the least. And then it was difficult to stealth camping, getting going in the morning. Like, I got up, it was a little after 5. Had to pack up my gear, use my uh, use my phone for the uh, torch, even though I had a, a torch, but I used that on the head when I was walking because it was really dark. So I used my phone and then I called Shauna twice by mistake. So she was wondering what was going on. Um, but uh, no, but all in all, it's, you know, you feel for people I had to sleep rough. Um, it isn't easy and you get up, and then the tent's filled with condensation, so your head hits it, you get soaked. You're trying to move around, you gather up all your gear, you have your uh, your sleeping bag to roll up, then the mat to roll up, pack all your your clothes and whatnot into the bag, make sure you don't forget, get it out. Then you have to take down the tent, and you're doing this all in the pitch black. And then climb over a fence, um, and then walk along the road for a couple of hours now. Um, now my feet are sore. I did 37 kilometers yesterday and I have another 25 today. Um, so putting myself through some penance, I guess. It was, reminds me of a mini Camino. Except even the Camino was, you get to stop every three or four, five kilometers, get a coffee and that. So this has been going on. Looking forward to a nice coffee. And maybe a public bathroom would be cool too. Anyways, let's just keep going. Had to do a little pit stop there. Got on my old hiking sandals again. Put a pair, an extra pair of socks on. My feet are a little sensitive. And we still have quite a way to go. Not really sure how much, but there's still a fair good amount. Well, 
Suruguen. Breakfast served from 7.30 a.m. Hotel doors open. I think I might partake. Because for one, I haven't eaten anything. And two, we can use the washroom and freshen up. And then as we approach into Waterford, we're about five kilometers, I think, outside. So, just had the breakfast in uh, Rougouin. Um, we're in Waterford, but just on the outskirts of the city itself. We're five kilometers from the bus station. So, I think my feet have had enough for the, uh, the last two days and the fact I didn't sleep at all. I, I'm going to do a cheeky thing and take a taxi just from here to the bus and then head home. And then uh, enjoy the what's left of the, uh, the weekend and back to work on Monday. And then I'll hopefully get these... Uh, YouTube vlogs uploaded. I'll probably do it in either two or three different separate ones. The one going towards Ross, the Ross day with the the uh, stealth camping, and then the third one would be the um, you know from uh, getting into Waterford from from Kilkenny. All right. So thanks for watching. Remember to uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to be notified of any upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps with the algorithms. Thank you. So I just got off the taxi. I'm in Waterford City by the bus station. I went to check the bus. The first bus, air and bus, is not till 2.30 or something like that. So there's one at 12.15 from the clock tower with the Wexford bus. So the clock tower is down there. So we have about, it's 10, it's 10.30. So I have a, an hour and a half or two to walk around Waterford. So we'll go around and see what it has to offer. Maybe get a coffee or something and chillax put my feet up and enjoy the day